Hi, Nancy Burt Priest here. I wanted to share with you today this wonderful um, Stampin' Up! Glass Mat Studio. Um, I'm just starting to play with this. I hope you are too. Um, if you already have one, if you haven't, if you join Stampin' Up! during celebration, this is one of the options you can pick, um, which is a great option. Um, so let me tell you a few things about this. Um, it is relatively hefty. I wouldn't want to like travel with it a lot. Um, it has inches along the side and at the bottom, which you probably can't see. And it has centimeters on the top and the right side. It has, I don't know if you can see this Stampin' Up! logo. It has this pretty in the back. On the other side, you can see these little feet that hold it still on your surface. Um, so this is something new, and I'd like to challenge you to try um, something, a baby step, something new, and I'm working, this is my first something new. So you get this, it comes and it has protectors around the edge, it's really packaged well. It also comes with this, which once you put on there, it doesn't move it around, which I love. I can pick it up, but it doesn't move around a lot. I can fit little stamp spots in there. And of course I don't have one right out. Um, here's copper clay fits just beautifully in there. Um, it also comes with this um, cloth, which I've just started using. You have to wet it down the first time to get it to use, but it, it it rinses off and comes beautifully. You know, you can decide where to put this or put it to the side. But one of the fun things is it's tempered glass. It's heat resistant. Um, you can use, and I don't seem to have my um, other tool here right now, but you can use an X-Acto knife. I thought I had an X-Acto knife. I do. You can cut something out with an X-Acto knife and it's not going to leave anything on your surface. So you can cut that, make a little thing, nothing on your surface, which is really great. Um, our take, I haven't got the take your pick tool that um, attachment yet, but that's on my list of things to get. Um, that's some of the things. Now, here's a couple of tools I would suggest you have is um, a, I'm using the Stampin' Spritzer. You can use whatever you want because let's say I just get some ink on here. Don't you love how that really holds it? Um, oh, I got some ink. You can spray. You don't have to spray it, but you can spray it with water. Just kind of dilute it a little bit. Um, and you can get a cheaper spray if you want. Sometimes I just have paper towels close by, get the worst of it up, and the rest of it I get with this beautiful cleansing cloth. So if it's water-based ink, watercolors, our regular um, classic pads, anything water-based, you can use a spritz of water and your handy-dandy mat. I watched like a million different videos on this. One thing they said about this, a couple different things, you can put something on there and it's not going to move. The other thing is with your blending brushes, you can use this part here. This one's relatively clean, even though it looks stained, to get excess ink off of it. I thought that was clever. Now, I wanted to show you... Um, how to clean something that is not water-based. So let's say I'm using a blend which is alcohol-based and it gets all over. Here is a handy dandy tip. Have a little bit of super cheap um, hand sanitizer by the way, you're going to want to clean that off relatively quick because it dries and then it's hard to clean up. So if I put just a smidge, my handy dandy paper towel, 
and I can get that right up with a little bit of hand sanitizer. Um, I, I just think this is such a great tool. Another thing I didn't know until I watched a recent video, see if I can find a photopolymer stamp. You can see mine is well used. Um, I'll just use a leaf image from Layering Leaves and I'm going to put it on, mount it up. And um, usually we say if you have a photopolymer, you should have a mat underneath it if you're going to stamp it. But because of this um, beautiful glass mat, I don't need to do that. So I can go ahead, ink up my stamp. You can see I'm using a little scrap here. And I get a beautiful image. So I think that's pretty awesome. Um, now, what else can you do with this? Well, this is really excellent because um, I'm going to stamp in Stazon, which is not water-based. And I'm going to stamp this detailed dogwood which is a celebration set, and I think it's very, very pretty. And I'm going to just stamp it on some watercolor paper. And some, oh, I didn't do a great stamp, but me. Turn it over and do it again. That's the beauty, right? Um, so I'm really going to get that inked up. to the side see if I can get it of course when I was doing this in practice it was just absolutely gorgeous and now of course not much improved thank you second time's a charm okay so now and I will clean this relatively soon I have this image that I want to use my water um, water painter to paint. So these little, I can either put it right directly on here because it's water-based. Um, it is my ink refill and take it right there. I'm going to actually add a little water to it and make it a little bit lighter. And paint which I can do more with this this isn't going to be a finished card folks it's just how to show you how to use this wonderful product okay so that's one thing um, and I can even kind of clean it there I tend to do it on a paper towel um, I usually have paper towels right here okay so then I can use that or um, this is, what am I using? Um, petal pink, and this is soft sea foam. That's what these little things are. You can even blend colors together. Um, it's really nice. Add a little bit of water. Kind of play with it a little bit. And then just come in on a leaf. And paint and you know you can just keep going till you get the color that you want so to clean this up once again if it's water-based you just spritz some water or even if it's really light you might not even need it and just come in with your little um, I use a paper towel first, and then I use this. You don't have to, but it is one thing that you can use. This is only the tip of the iceberg for this. So um, my challenge is what is one new thing you're going to try? And um, number one, are you going to get the Glass Mat Studio? 
and share with me what sorts of things you think you would use with this wonderful glass mat studio. And you know, I'm still getting used to it, where everything is um, and how to use it. And I, like I say, I just gave you a few ideas, but already, I, you know, I used to use grid paper and then I, you know, I'd get it all dirty or whatever, and then I'd rip that off and, and you know, recycle it. I get that. But I'm constantly using stuff. Where with this, yes, I am using maybe a little more paper towel than I need. But really, I'm just cleaning it up and I'm not wasting as much. So I hope I challenge you. If you haven't joined Stampin' Up!, you really should think about it. This is the month, uh, January 4th. Um, also, if you are already in Stampin' Up!, do you have a glass mat? Um, they are just wonderful tools for us to use. Um, and don't forget to share in the comments one thing you're going to try new in 2024. Have a great day.